Let's do a little walk through here at the Royal Jordanian Tank Museum. Very impressive collection. Starting with Panzer I. Over here, Soviet reconnaissance tank. T-38, short barrel Panzer IV, a KV-1. You can really see the hugely high profile it was known for. Tanks, the museum's just beautifully set up and lit. A little light Stuart tank, a couple German half tracks. Quite a few British things here with Jordan's former military history. With Britain, there's the Crusader. What have we here? I'm not so good on the British stuff. Valentine and Matilda. And carrying on here, we have a Grant tank, really an awkward design. Look at the huge silhouette, very vulnerable. Various lighter vehicles, German cars and motorcycles, the famous 88, Flak 88, another Sherman. What was this? I don't recall. It's another British Crusader type. The Comet. Here we have the brutal Cromwell with its thick flat armor. Churchill. Look over here, we have the long barrel Panzer. Four. Panther. Early T-34. Churchill tank. I think this is a Pershing, but it's not marked. As we come through here, we have an SU-100, one of the series of SU Soviet assault guns, famous from the Second World War. And finally, we have a Tiger, but I think it's a replica. Looks too tidy to be otherwise. Looks flimsy when I peek through that front opening. But if it's correct, you can see just what a monster this thing is. Let's take a walk through this big battle hall diorama of Jordanian army equipment. Employed in the battle that's referenced in the title. Jeep. With a big reconcileless rifle recoilless rifle, anti-tank weapon. Patent tank, M48, M42 anti-aircraft rig, another recoilless rifle, this has martial music and celebrating the Jordanian army's successfully repelling an Israeli raid according to the plaque. this tank. Super Sherman. Ah, the modified Sherman. All right, we'll have a walk through the hall of the Arab-Israeli Wars. This little British thing called a Saladin. French light tank, AMX-13. Big 105 millimeter, I think. U.S. self-propelled howitzer. T-55, coming out of storage even these days. Developed in the late 40s to the war in Ukraine now. T-62s, they've been rolling those out of mothballs for a while too. And the T-55 apparently, 100,000 produced. So one little Russian armored personnel carrier. Then we got this big monster here, US M60. Centurion. Another self-propelled howitzer. Such a well-done museum display. 
another amazing hall here in the Royal Jordanian Tank Museum. Little German armored car. British Dingo. Locust, glider-borne tank. Little tiny Soviet reconnaissance car. Now we get over to the famous Stug 3, one of the most produced German vehicles in the Second World War. Next to it, we have a US tank destroyer, open top turret. I think it's an M60. Let's check. No, M10. M60 is coming up. Here, a very famous vehicle Jag Panther, the hunting tank built on the Panzer Panther chassis. And here, a very famous Soviet assault gun, the SU 152, known as the Beast Killer, for fighting heavy German tanks. Here we have the M60 with a 90 millimeter gun tank destroyer. And over here we have a Cold War era German 90 millimeter anti-tank tank destroyer. Another Jag Panther. The famous little Hetzer of World War II. And this I think is Korean Vietnam era US with six 106 millimeter rec recoilless rifles. Some more small stuff, small tanks, armored cars. Let's have a walk through. I don't know this stuff very well. But just a really well done museum. It's amazing. An amazing lineup of monsters. British Conqueror, very rare. JS-3, Soviet tank, post-World War II. T-54, T-64, Centurion. Vickers-3, closer look at the T-64 with reactive armor. Big gun. Walker Bulldog. The T-72, let's take a good look at that, huh? More modern Soviet tank they've run out of. German Leopard 1. Chieftain 5, huge. AMX-30, French machine. Not sure what that is. Israeli modified vehicle, I think. Jordanian modified chieftain, I believe. Japanese Type 61. Remarkable. Let's just go over here and uh, have a look at this. Merkavara. Yeah, Israeli. There we go. Just an amazing museum.